Here is again the earlier example with employment and marriage dummy variables, uh, where before we talked about joint and marginal probabilities, and now we'll think about the conditional probabilities or conditional distributions. So in this case, as I said earlier, I like to think about uh, this version where we just imagine there's a hundred people and there's 10 people in the top left box and 60 in the bottom right and so on. So if we think about a conditional probability, for example, if we said conditional on being married, what is the probability of being employed? Well, remember our x equals 1 if the individual is married. So saying conditional on being married or conditional on x equals 1 says we're only going to look at the married individuals in the population and we'll just completely ignore any other individuals. So in this case we're only looking at these 80 people in the bottom. And to write this out more formally, we're interested in what's the probability that y equals 1, meaning employed, given x equals 1, meaning married. So just intuitively first, thinking about these people, if there's 80 people now that we're considering and 60 of them are employed, well, 60 out of 80 is 3 fourths, or 75%. So just thinking about it that way, it seems like we should get uh, either 3 fourths, well, I guess I'll write the 60 out of 80. All right, now that's how we thought about it, or 75%, however you want to write it out. So a question is, does this match our formula that we had in the book? Well, in the book, we saw we took the joint probability that y equals 1 and x equals 1, and then we divided by the probability of the conditioning event, which here is x equals 1. So if we go over to our original probability table, we can see the uh, first part, this joint probability, is this 0 0.6 down in the bottom right. And then the denominator, the marginal probability that x equals 1 is that sum of 0.2 plus 0.6. So you can see how this is similar to what we did in the person version of the table. So if we plug those numbers in, we get 0 0.6 divided by this marginal 0 0.8 and so that'll be the same. 0 0.6 over 0 0.8 is the same as 60 over 80 like we did before. So that's sort of at least the way I make the most sense of this uh, formula. Or similarly if we wanted the conditional probability of being not employed given that somebody is married, then it would be 0.2 divided by 0.2 plus 0.6, and we would get 25%. So if you write that here, So, <clears throat> the last point to make here, uh, we can see that this 
we add it to the 75% we got earlier, we get 100%. So when we're thinking about, uh, th so this gives us a full proper probability distribution. So it's saying among the married individuals, this gives us the distribution of employment which we call the conditional distribution of employment, conditional on being married. And then from that, uh, later we'll think more specifically about what is the mean of those conditional distributions, uh, because that's something very commonly modeled in statistics and econometrics.